Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you an identification video on the woodland sunflower. This is a native eastern woodland plant that you can find, as its name might imply, in woodlands. It generally prefers high up ridge tops and somewhat drier soil. Like right now, I am in an oak forest, so the soil is a little bit acidic and it's also a little dry. Now this is a plant that usually flowers through July all the way through August, and it is related to the domestic sunflower that you are probably used to seeing in your garden. The woodland sunflower has these very beautiful yellow flowers that stick out in the middle of its blooming season, which is from July through August. So let's take a close look at some of the features of this plant. Whenever we look very closely at the flower of woodland sunflower, we're going to notice numerous ray-like petals coming out from the very center of the flower. And then on the inside of the flower, we're going to notice this cluster of tube-shaped flowers as well. These are where the pollinators, like we just saw a second ago, like to come and get the pollen. The woodland sunflower is a very distinct flower in the sense that it has numerous ray-like petals, but it also has this cluster of tubular flowers on the inside where we can see this little guy trying to pollinate it right now. He's the reason why I'm not touching the plant like I normally do. Oh, something just happened. Because I don't want to disturb the pollinators. Another thing to notice is that there's no seeds that we can see on the inside. There are no seeds that I know of that are edible on this plant. I'm not sure if the, any other parts are edible. Maybe the greens are, but I'm not sure. I do know, however, that this plant is not poisonous but I don't know if it's edible. I've tried it before and I did not like the taste of the leaves. I found them to be too bitter. Okay, our little pollinating friend has left us here. So let's take a close look at the stem of the woodland sunflower for its identification features. If we look very closely at the top of the stem on the woodland sunflower, we're going to notice a lot of these fine little bitty hairs. We can also notice these hairs on the leaves as well. And at the very top of where the flower joins the stem, we can notice these green flower bracts on the underside of the plant. Now these little hairs that we see on the top of the stem are not going to go down the entirety of the stem. They're usually on the upper third portion of the stem. As you guys might notice right here on this section of the stem, we don't see any of those little bitty hairs. And the hairs get very, very small whenever it comes to the leaves, the further you go down the plant. So make sure you keep in mind that the upper portion of the plant is where the hairs are going to be. Whenever we look at the leaves of woodland sunflower, we're going to notice a couple things right off the bat. One is that they're somewhat narrow, very long, and lance-shaped. The leaves are probably going to be anywhere from one and a half to two and a half inches in length, and they're going to join at the stem right near the base like we can see right here. There's not very much leaf stem that sticks out. These leaves are not perfoliate leaves, but they do look like it at first glance until we get up close and actually look at them like we can see right here. The leaves grow in an opposite pattern all the way up the stem, meaning that they'll grow on opposite sides, and then it'll rotate 90 degrees for each set of leaves up the plant, opposite all the way up and down the stem. If we look very closely at the margins of the leaves on the woodland sunflower, we're going to notice very small serrations running along the margins all the way up and down the sides of the leaves. So that's an interesting feature to keep out for. The underside of the leaves is slightly lighter in color than the top, but not by very much. If we compare the top of this leaf to the underside of it, we can see that the underside is just a little bit lighter. We can also see more of the leaf stem right there. Whenever you're holding woodland sunflower in your hand and you rub the leaves, they're going to feel very rough and papery. So if you rub them in between your fingers, what you're feeling is those fine little hairs and bristles that it has all along the leaves. Now if we look very close, we can see all these little bristles on the leaves. And this is what we're feeling that makes them feel very rough to the touch. Whenever you find one woodland sunflower, you're probably going to be finding a whole lot of them, generally because their seeds don't spread very far. Now these plants are, like I said earlier, and like the name implies, woodland growing. So you're going to find them in woods. Now I generally find them more around oak forests than I do uh, wet maple forests and beech forests, 
but it is possible to find them there as well. But if we look around, we can see woodland sunflowers there, we can see some over there, we can see one there, we can see more here, we can see more all throughout here. And if we look around, even towards the back, in the dark almost, we can see another one there. The woodland sunflower is going to grow anywhere from two to four feet in height whenever it reaches full maturity. And if you get a lot of rain, you're going to see them closer to that four foot height. Versus right now, we haven't had much rain in my area. So these seem to be topping out at around two and a half to three and a half feet. But still not a very big difference in height from other full on mature growth. So that's how you guys can identify the woodland sunflower. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. And if you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.